hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so today it's gonna be a little bit different i'm doing this like kind of vlog style i'm taking you guys with me to go get my hair done you can see my hair looks pretty crazy it's literally been a little over six months since the last time i got my hair done so i am excited to not only get my hair done but i'm going to be doing something a little different than what i normally do you guys i am parked and i'm so excited for those who don't know me my name is crystal garcia i am a social media influencer on instagram also known as cpg also brought my handy dandy the new norm which is a mask <laughs> i feel like we should just get started let's go So I wanted to show you guys the location and stuff, but there was construction going on. And as soon as I went in, we did the sanitation process because of the COVID protocol. But just showing you guys, this is a before. As you can see, my hair is very, very long. My roots have definitely grown out. Not only that, but also the toner that I had originally in my hair has already faded out. Now you can kind of see like the brassiness and old colors kind of picking out. So we're doing a before right now and then we're gonna go ahead and take you guys along my new hair. Okay, so I know you guys already saw my thumbnail, so technically I'm going shorter. So just to avoid having to use extra product for stuff that we're gonna be cutting off anyways, we just went ahead and cut part of my hair off too, just to avoid, you know, using more than we need. And also just to kind of get a feel of, you know, how short I wanted to go because I knew I wanted to go shorter, but I wasn't 100% sure exactly how short just yet. So we've already started doing the foils. Quick tip, when you are choosing your hairstylist, something that I find really important is finding a stylist who not only knows how to get to my goal hair, but someone who knows how to take care of my actual natural texture and hair and knows how to style it and protect it without damaging it. Okay, so I decided to do this video as a voiceover because it was really difficult to talk in a mask, period. It was very, you know, tiring. And I also want to share with you guys just how awesome my hair looks going blonde. I've been with Diana now for almost two years and she takes such good care of my hair. My hair grows very quickly because of her and it comes in so healthy. I don't experience all this crazy breakage and I just really appreciate how she does hair. So I think this would be really fun to kind of share with you guys my like, hair process. Okay, so the next step of doing my hair is applying a shadow root. This is going to give me an illusion of a almost melted, lived-in look for my hair. So it's not going to look like a solid root and then it just goes directly to a blonder hair. This is going to blend everything in. And also we're going to be doing a toner above it too. A very common question that I get is what type of toner I use. And we use a more neutral beige color. This helps kind of make everything look very seamless and blonde and just like so luxe and so pretty. So I was trying to show you guys how long my hair is right now and how short I want to go, but womp womp didn't work. Okay, you guys wanna know how indecisive I was? As we started cutting, I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to cut my hair. So we decided to, you know, dry it first so I could see exactly where we were gonna cut it. And what I love so much about Diana is that she well, went slowly and would ask me how short I wanted to go. And we would go step by step and she would cut it. And I just thought that was so thoughtful because sometimes hairstylists can go way too short and it's just too much of a shock. So this I really appreciated because we went step by step and I ended up loving how my hair came out. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. This is how it looks like straight. We decided to go shorter, also have it be more of a blunt cut. We thought it would look so chic and fit my personality so much more. You guys, they were hyping me up so much. I was so excited. And of course, of course, I had to show you guys how it looks like curled. I love the way it came out. I'm so happy we went short. It was such a fun change and she does such an amazing job. I just feel like whatever you decide to do, she's gonna make it look so amazing on you and you're just gonna leave so happy. So this is the final look. I love the way it came out. Something that I really 
make sure that I like bring up is the fact that I want the blonde to not look like so icy. I like it to look more neutral. So we always stick with like a neutral beige. Also, I like to keep my money piece really high. This is because when my hair grows out, I like it to look like more seamless. Also, I feel like having it be higher when it grows out, it you know, makes it look like it lasts a little bit longer, but not really. <laughs> Also, I, I also feel like it's trending right now and you know, I see celebrities like Dua Lipa and so many people on Instagram right now like rocking the high mini piece and yeah, let me show you guys the back. So if you guys like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Also, don't forget to check out Diana. I am obsessed with her. I've been with her for like two years. And I think if you're looking for someone who's gonna give you some awesome, awesome hair and put in their like whole heart and soul to it, like that screams her. So check her out. I'll put her information here as well as the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Before I go, I wanna show you guys how it looks like. So this is just in my room. Let me just put this back. Regular lighting in here, but let me open up the blinds and show you guys how much blonder it gets. I should've just done the video like this, but my room's a mess. Here she is. Okay, I'm done.